Hello everyone out in YouTube land. I can't help smiling because in my background is um, a picture of uh, Sofia Vergara who is quite, quite beautiful. In any event, and um, I can still see her, I can't help but smile. Anyways, um, the subject of today's video is this. Did you see that commercial, I believe it was English, that, um, oh, I should take these things off. Anyways, there's this sculpting class, and there's a young, rather attractive man posing as the model, and then... A girl comes in late, and um, he becomes, shall we say, rather aroused, and um, it made me think to myself, what would my life have been like had I been born with this extremely good-looking young man's genetic endowment? And then I thought to myself, Am I supposed to be sad and depressed and moan and groan because I wasn't? And then I remembered what my next door neighbor said to me. He said, I said, Mr. Mazurik, before I'm leaving home now, do you have any words of wisdom before I go out into the cruel world? And he said, look, I don't understand the whole thing, but I can tell you this, be a good boy. And... Uh, what came to me, I said to myself, why can't I be a ten when it comes to looks? And then it came to me in a dream. It said, you have a much greater gift. You can speak with different accents. Do you have any idea how many gorgeous, beautiful women want to marry guys that speak with um, accents and the more the better they say the beautiful women love guys when they talk with multiple accents one after the other for example like now I, I just changed to southern or tickle book I can talk like my uh, Polish friend Jurek Chinadevu or, uh, you know, I, say, I can talk like a Hollywood Italian. I don't know if they really talk like this in Italy, but uh, this is uh, the way the Hollywood Italians uh, talk in uh, that uh, fictional place. But uh, I was reading something last week, and it talked about the... Where are my quotation marks? The fat genes. And it said, you know what? Scientists have identified the fat gene. And they've discovered that it's also a happy gene. In other words, folks who have this fat gene are also much happier on average, or much happier than the average person. And I said, you know, I know that's the, my case because my highs are higher than average and my lows are higher than average. In other words, when I'm depressed, I simply act like the majority of people. Um, serious, like Mr. Spock. But when I'm happy, I'm really happy. I must curb my enthusiasm, lest people think I'm bin-worthy, as in loony bin. No, but, um, <laughs> um, I know, I think it is easier, my most easiest accent to talk. In other words, the least amount of words, work to do would be to talk like this, because talking is work. Uh, you have work, energy expended whenever there's physical movement or movement, I guess physical is redundant, 
or superfluous or overflowing. Oh, überflüssig? Überflüssig. Or as they say in Dutch, überflüssig. Not Holland Dutch, Pennsylvania Dutch. But this happens to be an Amsterdam, Holland Dutch accent. And this is the way they talk in Amsterdam. Um, the Dutch. Now, the Pennsylvania Dutch, as you know from my other videos, and I've been trying to do a James Mason impression for years, but, you know, maybe I'll... I can, neither can I do yet an acceptable liver Pudlian accent. But anyways, let's... I digress. And you know what? I'm, I am now old. Now, I know a lot, a lot of you people say, Oh, come on, you're not old. And I'll say, come off it. Thanks for the compliment. But being old is not the worst thing in the world. I can tell you, middle age, middle age is an artificial construct. You're either young or you're old. Now, if young people, young adults in the tw 20s or teens, refer to you as an old man or old lady, believe me, you're old. How do you know if you're young? You're either young or you're old. There's no in-between, there's no middle age, not really. You're young until you're old. And you know you're old when you have grey um, facial hair, or grey or even white side walls. But having said that, I'm old, but I don't feel like it. Maybe I'm in my second childhood. But anyways, no, my uh, neighbor said to me, uh, Dabber Nack, and uh, this time I'm not going to identify the accent that I'm using now. I will let my fans out in YouTube land discover that. Dabber Nack! Okay, uh, the neighbor also said, do you know for something, he really didn't call me that because that's not my real name, but he said, you know for something, we're all dealt, I'm looking at Sophia Vergara again, <laughs> God is she gorgeous. You know she's a, a natural blonde, she really is. They had her dye her hair Doc Brown um, for the TV show because they said she didn't look Latina enough with the blonde hair, whatever that means. But anyways, my neighbor said, you know, we are all dealt a certain set of cards in life. You cannot change it. You cannot ask uh, for another change of cards. But, um, so, try to play the hand you are dealt as good as you can. And now I'm changing topic. If popular culture can say bad, badder, and baddest, then I can say good, gooder, and goodest. Have you ever wondered why the standard language, it's not good, gooder, goodest? Apparently, this goes way back into prehistory. Linguistics, it's fascinating. Um, the, same, uh, the same difference in the other Germanic languages. In German, good, better, best is gut, besser, bester, or am besten. Same thing in Nederlands. Uh, Dutch, Holland Dutch, the same thing in the Scandinavian, excuse me, Scandinavian languages, i.e. Danish, Norwegian, both Nynorsk and Bokmol, and I probably mispronounced that, sorry Norwegians, but I will say this about Norwegians, they are very, very extremely good looking people in Norway, just let, let me say that. Uh, Sweden as well, and uh, as I said, Scandinavians, let's not forget. Oh, does the term Scandinavian apply to, to them in the Faroe Islands as well, and to the Icelanders? Anyways, get back to me on that one. Right, it's almost ten minutes. Oh, I didn't know. It's 4 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, Friday, November 1st, 2013, Anno Domini. And it is All Saints Day. So I will be going to Holy Mass in the Canadian city of Vancouver at the uh, Holy Rosary Cathedral at, uh, for their 
noon Holy Mass. So, if any of my fans can make it, feel free to uh, come up to me after Mass and uh, you can buy me uh, a cup of coffee. Right? Very well. Um, take care. So long. Goodbye.